Scott Lara, Scott Lara1961 on Twitter, on board the Carnival Dream. It's the first week of December 2013, and I'm starting uh, this video up here on deck 11. It's the Pasta Bella area, and I don't think a lot of people know about this area because um, this is kind of hidden, if you will. I mean, if you don't know, if you don't see the sign, you're not going to know about it. So anyway, right now we're facing aft, or to the back of the ship, for those who do not have a military background as I do. Um, so anyway, lots of scening up here. So let's take a walk down here. You know, they have these hand sanitizer units all throughout the ship. So that's kind of nice. Again, this does not replace uh, thoroughly washing your hands with uh, hot water and soap for at least 20 seconds. So to avoid any kind of uh, norovirus or anything like that, please uh, wash your hands uh, frequently. So anyway, here's a bird's eye view of deck 10, which is the Lido deck. And so here's an area right here. Now it's 7 o'clock, so the um, Lido is open. Okay, so we're going to walk down here, careful. So see, this is the sign, the Pasta Bella area, and it's got the little red arrow to go upstairs. So, I mean, it's really, you would never know about it. All right, so you're walking aft here, just like this. Got some restrooms back here. That's the one thing when you're on a ship, and you get to know where the restrooms are. And uh, so let's go this way. So again, walking aft from the Lido deck. <laughs> so anyway, we're aft. This is the back pool deck. So here's a, a breakfast area here. I guess it's not open. So this is the aft pool. And there are some seats back here, which, uh, seats, some lounge chairs. Now this is the area I would recommend you come to when you board the Carnival Dream. Just come back to the back of the ship. Very few people know about this area. Let's get a shot right here. 7 a.m. in the morning here in the Carnival Dream, heading to St. Thomas. So anyway, over here on the port side of the ship, is the deli. Now the deli is not open right now. But this is the place that very few people know about when they come on board. So if you are starving, if you're hungry from uh, traveling all day, this is where you want to be. See right here, look at this. You have uh, ham and cheese sandwiches, uh, turkey, Reuben, which is my favorite, pastrami, corned beef, then you have a tuna salad, smoked salmon, turkey wrap. So anyway, this is the place to be. If you're coming on the dream and you want something to eat quick and there's not going to be a line six and a half miles long, this is the place to be. So let's walk through this water here. And again, I'm really... I guess is the word surprise of the layout of the ship because for 3,647 passengers you would kind of think that there would be more deck space for people to kind of hang out. But I guess, you know, with that Serenity area, the Serenity area, which I already have a video up on that one, the Serenity area is really second to none. Um, I remember Doug Parker of Cruise Radio mentioning about the Carnival Sunshine. That they have like a three-story Serenity area with a waterfall, which is really nice. Yeah, be sure to check out Cruise Radio, cruiseradio.net, the latest cruise news reviews and interviews. Cruise Radio. So anyway, I'm going to try to step over this table here. 